Hello viewers, thanks for joining in. You're looking at a Dodge Challenger SRT8 from three diecast brands, namely Hot Wheels, Matchbox, and Maisto. I did not include a green light auto world because we are focusing on this basic main light, if you will, release of the Challenger. We'll see the difference of the three and find out who did it better. First up is the Hot Wheels. This was new for 2008 and in 2008 was the first model year of this current Challenger platform in pearlescent white metallic. This is one of the uh, debut release back then. Ah, the Mayisto. It's the cheapest of the three and the quality of this really shows. And then we have the Matchbox, a recent release, part of the uh, Top Gun 5-pack. And this paint is absolutely fantastic. Destroyer Gray, but do mind this color wasn't offered in earlier years of the Challenger until 2018 if I'm not mistaken, but nevertheless, it looks awesome. Front details include molded headlights, a separate piece for the grill and lower intakes, a nicely shaped lower spoiler, it looks incredibly good. Solid feeling base. There's the Hemi 6.1 rating and the hood with the uh, hood stripes, which is true to the actual car, looking sweet. And a tiny Dodge logo at the center. Painted details for Matchbox with a lot of depth for the headlights. A Challenger emblem on the grill area, as well as the SRT badge. That's a nice touch. The Dodge logo is even smaller here, a much better looking chin splitter below, a hood stripes, but it loses out the Hemi 6.1 writing on the side of the hood scoop. Maisto has painted details like the headlights, but I do like the carbon fiber look of the stripes. Just like the actual car, the stripe is indeed a carbon looking sticker, which is cool, a 6.1 Hemi writing. So this time it is reverse, that's interesting, and a larger Dodge logo. So there are quite some good stuff here we can find in the Mayis too, despite being the cheapest. Alright, what else do we got? A black grill with textured pattern, Challenger emblem, and a very, very thick chin splitter below. Painted fog lamp as well. The Hot Wheels suffered mightily from the oversized rear wheel syndrome. It simply doesn't look good with that in the way. So the windows are rolled down. It does have a sunroof on top with dark tinted windows. The Matchbox side profile is miles better. The same diameter tires all around look so much more realistic. The lines are sharp and deep. Roll down windows, a molded side mirrors is decent to go along with the sunroof on top. That's actually pretty good. Alright, the Maisto also has the same diameter tires as well, but the wheels looks ultra cheap. The lines are soft, they're not noticeable enough, but it does have side mirrors. Windows are closed and dark, which indicates no interior at all. That's just typical Maisto, you're not gonna find any interior of that matter of their 164 castings. Now onto the rear, a Dodge emblem in the center flanked by its painted taillights. Blackout license plate, plastic rear valence with rectangular exhaust tips. Decklid spoiler is nicely sized. Now look at that taillights, man. You can see the black outer line of the tail lamps. A Dodge license plate below, and further down is a detailed exhaust, which is very surprising to see. Typically, it is body colored, but that, that's actually incredible. That's what I like to see from Matchbox. But the spoiler, however, is on the smaller side. It looks puny. Maisto also comes with painted taillights, a Dodge license plate. And the spoiler is painted black with SRT badge on the side, which is fairly accurate. That's actually pretty good. Well done. The rear valence is crook, however. There's so much gap, as you can see. That's typical Maisto quality. You're not going to expect too much from this. Check this out. Once upon a time, 
Matchbox does include scaling at the bottom before they got rid of it completely. It says 167, so it is a little smaller than 164. The Mei still is a tad longer, just a bit. The Hot Wheels is very similar to Matchbox, but the rear end is quite wider. But it has the same overall length. Alright, interior, it's all black plastic, but check out the center console. Doesn't that look incredible? Yeah, it does. Amazing to see how, you know, crisp and sharp inside for a uh, mainline Matchbox car. Alright, Hot Wheels is, um, you can't see much due to its tinted windows, but it's there. It's decent. There's nothing to see here. So that concludes this comparison video, which is better? I would say Matchbox stands out the most easily. May still, given its poor quality, it does have a lot of details. And Hot Wheels, well, totally not a fan about the big fat tires at the back. So winner Matchbox and the other two are just there. So there you have it. Please check out my other videos and I'll see you on the next one.